I saw in the spirit a great glory train. The tracks would appear ahead of it wherever it went, not only on the earth, but above the earth. It was moving at the great momentum through uncharted territory and untouched fields. And following behind this glorious train on foot were strong men, demonic beings, chained and bound to the caboose, helpless and defeated. All aboard, beloved, all aboard my glory train. You already hold the ticket, my child, sealed and marked by the blood of the Lamb. Leave your baggage behind. Hear the whistle announcing the arrival. Hear the sound of glory made by the breath of your God. You are laying the tracks one by one with every prayer, every word spoken in faith, every song of praise. Do you feel the vibrations and the tremblings of the train's approach? Angels are fueling it with coals from the altar of heaven, with the very fire of God. The nations and the people shall shake under the power. You are a VIP passenger, dear one. You have prayed to be a part of this end-time glory, and so you shall be. Get ready for a ride like you have never had before. Everywhere we go, my glory shall overwhelm and fill, heal and restore. Raise up and renew. Watch as my glory train plows through the darkness and brings light and life to a lost and dying world. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Come by faith, beloved. The conqueror is leading you in a triumphal procession. Aboard my glorious train, you ride with me, binding the strong man and making a show of the enemy openly. Ephesians 4.8 This is why it says, When he ascended on high, he led captives in his train and gave gifts to men. Psalm 68.18 You ascended on high, leading a host of captives in your train, and receiving gifts among men, even among the rebellious, that the Lord God may dwell there. 2 Corinthians 22.14 But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession. As a conqueror returning from a victory, displays in a triumphal procession the kings and princes whom he has taken and the spoils of victory. The Savior, by his death, wrested the dominion from them and seized upon what they had captured as a conqueror, seizes upon his prey. He made a show of them openly. This was commonly done when a triumph was decreed for a conqueror. On such occasions, it sometimes happened that a considerable number of prisoners were led along the midst, amidst the scenes of triumph. Paul says that this was now done openly, that is, it was in the face of the whole universe, a grand victory, a glorious triumph over all the powers of hell. Jesus Christ, as a conqueror, dragged Satan and his legions and his at his triumphal car. Compare Romans 16.20, Barnes Notes, Colossians 2.15, and having disarmed the rulers and authorities, he made the public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross.